Hi, this is Helal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a friend on YouTube, uh, namely Palak Shrivastav. The question is like this. A marginal cost function of a product is given by the function that is marginal cost is equal to 2 bracket uh, 2x plus 9 raised power minus 1 by 2 where x is the quantity and fixed cost is also 8 dollars. Then we have to find the per unit cost when x is equal to 8. Okay, so what we are being given here, we are being given the marginal cost, we are being given the marginal cost and we are being given the fixed cost. Okay, so how do we solve this very question? Okay, let's try to solve this. Our marginal cost is given as marginal cost is equal to that is 2 uh, 2x plus 9 raised power minus 1 by 2. Okay, this is our marginal cost. Okay, now uh, to find that we have to find the average cost here. Okay, that is we have to find the per unit cost. Now per unit cost or average cost is simply equal to total cost upon quantity. Here it is x, so I will write x. Now that means we need to find the total cost and total cost is simply total cost is simply the derivative of marginal cost with respect to quantity okay so dx that is we need to diff, uh, integrate marginal cost function with respect to quantity to get the total cost okay so i will write here also our fixed cost is given fixed cost is 8 that means uh, to find the average cost for you, first we need to find the total cost and total cost is given by so I will write here total cost is simply equal to the derivative of marginal cost with respect to x okay sorry uh, the uh, integral of the marginal cost with respect to x now how do we integrate uh, the uh, equation uh, the given function so let's write it first so what we are being given here we have to integrate this this is 2 into 2x plus 9 minus 1 by 2 dx okay or if we rearrange this we can write it like this we can write it like this this is integral of 2 upon under root of 2x plus 9 okay so uh, let's explain this very uh, thing here how do we get this since we are we have uh, this whole this whole term has uh, a power of minus 1 by 2 if we have any number let us say any variable raised power minus n we can simply write it 1 divided by x to the power plus n okay whenever we transpose uh, the variable to the denominator the sign gets changed similarly this minus 1 by 2 became here plus 1 by 2 and we know x to the power 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 can be written as under root of x so this under root and 1 by 2 these are the same things okay so it was just to clarify the things here and we have to integrate this very thing with respect to x now how do we integrate here we will use the substitution met method here okay what will we do we just put this thing there these terms 2x plus 9 is equal to u let us say this is equal to u i will write here let u is equal to 2x plus 9 okay i am using the substitution method of integration here now u is equal to 2x plus 9 differentiating this with respect to x that means du upon dx will be equal to the derivative of 2x is 2 only because the derivative of x is only 2 and the derivative of constant is always 0 as i have told you n number of times 
in my videos okay if we just rearrange this we can write it like this du is equal to 2 uh, 2 times this dx will get multiplied here so this is dx or we can write it like this dx is equal to du upon if we transpose uh, here so this will get divided okay so what we have we have two things we need to visualize these two things here okay so after that what will we do we will uh, take this integral what is our integral we will solve this very integral i can write it like this therefore integral of 2 upon under root 2x uh, plus 9 dx it can be written like this now we have two here uh, i will write the integral sign also upon under root okay in place of 2x plus 9 2x plus 9 i can write u so we have u here in place of dx dx is equal to du upon 2 so i will write here du upon 2 okay now this 2 and 2 will get cancelled so we are left with integral of 1 upon under root u du okay and it can be written like this it can be written as u to the power minus 1 by 2 du okay now we need to integrate this very uh, function and it is simply we will use power function rule that is if we want to integrate integrate x to the power n its integration is simply x this exponent is added by one that is we add exponent by one this becomes n plus one and we divide by the resulting exponent that is n plus one to give you an example if we have x to the power five it is uh, integral is simply x to the power five and we add one to the five and divide by five plus one and it comes out to be x to the power six upon six will be the integral of x to the power five okay so using this very thing here so we can write it like this if we integrate this will become u to the power minus one by two uh, plus one divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 and it comes out to be minus 1 by 2 plus 1 comes out to be u to the power 1 by 2 and here we have 1 by 2 and it can be written like this u to the power 1 by 2 u to the power 1 by 2 and if we transpose this will become 2 here okay so the integral of this thing comes this now let me rub this out here so we have a uh, integral of uh, u to the power minus 1 by 2 du comes out to be twice a uh, u to the power 1 by 2 and we have to add the constant of integration here okay plus c now we just need to give the value of u what was u u was 2x plus 9 so in place of u to the u we can write i will write it like this we have 2 in place of u we have 2x plus 9 so i will write 2x plus 9 and it can be written as under root okay uh, plus c is the constant of integration uh, so i will write here c so let us see where does this c came from okay let us take a simple example if we have x square okay now what is the derivative of x square the derivative of x square is 2x okay so the derivative of x square is 2x and what is the integral of 2x the integral of 2x will be x square okay so we know that the integration is the reverse process of differentiation okay the derivative of x square is 2x the integral of 2x is x square okay suppose we have three functions 
let us say we have x square x square uh, plus 5 x square minus 5 okay now what will be the derivative of x square the derivative of x square will be 2x okay what will be the derivative of x square plus 5 it is 2x since the derivative of constant is 0 and what is the uh, uh, derivative of x square minus 5 it also comes out to be 2x because the derivative of a constant is 0 okay now we have three different functions but we get here same derivative now to differentiate them with each other what we do the derivative of the derivative of 2x with respect to x is equal to sorry the integral of 2x is equal to x square plus c what is c c is the constant of integration if we write to the derivative of 2x it comes out to be x square plus c this c encompasses these constants which come here okay so having different value of c we get different functions okay if we don't add this constant of integration then these say uh, the uh, then the integral then the derivative of all these functions will would have remained same but if we add the constant that is uh, this constant this c actually denotes our minus 5 plus 5 here we can have 0 that is why we use this constant of integration okay so coming back to the con uh, coming back to the question so we got we got total cost is equal to 2 2x plus 9 and what is this c c is the constant of integration here in an economics in this question it means our fixed cost so i will write here uh, sorry the fixed cost was 4 i forgot to write it properly so i will write here 4 okay let me rub this out here also it is 4 so this is our cost function and this term denotes our variable cost this is our fixed cost and we know the total cost is the aggregate of the variable cost and fixed cost and we got the value of c is equal to 4 okay so i will write here c is equal to 4 because this is a constant of integration fixed cost is constant here that's 4 now what is average cost average cost is simply total cost upon quantity okay total co cost upon x now what is our total cost total cost is 2 under root 2 x plus 9 plus 4 upon x okay and what is average cost average cost when x is equal to 4 we have to find the per unit cost or average cost when x is equal to 8 okay sorry it is 8 here then we just need to insert the value of x is equal to 8 in this uh, very uh, function so we have let me write it properly so we have 2 here we have 2 into 8 plus 9 okay we have 4 the fixed cost upon x is 8 okay if we solve this this becomes 2 under root of now 2 8s are 16 plus 9 comes out to be 25 upon 8 plus we have 4 upon 8 or it can be written as 2 now this is 25 is perfect square this becomes 5 square square and root gets cancelled so we are left with 5 upon 8 plus 4 upon 8 if we 2 5s are 10 if we add up these two this becomes 10 upon 8 plus 4 upon 8 which comes out to be 14 upon 8 and 14 upon 8 is 2 7s are 2 4 are. so we get 7 divided by 4 that means our average cost when x is equal to 8 is equal to 7 upon 4 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video so how do we solve this very question
we were being given the marginal cost function and also the fixed for cost function then we were told to find the per unit cost per unit cost means the average cost when the units produced is equal to eight okay for that why what we uh, did since we were being given the marginal cost to get the per unit cost what we need to get the average cost we need to find the total cost okay now we are only uh, being given the marginal cost okay so let me uh, rub this here so so uh, our marginal cost was given the derivative of marginal cost sorry the integral of the marginal cost is equal to total cost that means we need to the uh, integrate uh, integrate uh, the marginal cost function with respect to quantity to get our total cost and we use the substitution method of the integration here we just uh, put 2x plus 9 is equal to u after that we differentiate u with respect to x we get du upon x is equal to 2 after that we just uh, transpose dx on rhs this becomes du is equal to 2 into dx or dx can be written as du upon 2 okay after that what we did we just uh, wrote this very function again here and after that we uh, put the value of dx and 2x plus 9 is equal to u in this uh, equation okay after that we use the power function rule of the integration to integrate u and after that we added the constant of integration as i have told you constant of integration plays important role in economics also it denotes here the fixed cost and i have shown you why we add up the constant of integration and i will explain it here also let's write we have x cube x cube plus 7 x cube plus let us say minus 8 okay minus 8 okay now what will be the derivative of x cube 3x square what will be the derivative of x cube plus 7 it will be also 3x square and what will be the derivative of x cube uh, minus 8 it will be also equal to 3x square okay because the derivative of constant is 0 so here it is 0 derivative of constant is here 0 okay now here we can see we have three different functions but we get the same derivative okay now to differentiate uh, between these two uh, these three uh, uh, sorry to differentiate among these functions what we need we need the we need the constant of integration that is if we want to differ integrate these three functions let us say we have 3x square okay if we want to integrate them then we need to uh, also write the constant of integrate uh, sorry constant of integration here so, so that it will become 3x uh, to the power 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 plus the constant of integration this constant of integration actually encompasses these uh, constant values okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you